When you first walk into the classroom, the first thing you're going to notice is that the first thing you see are the, the is the class library. That's intentional so that the kids, first thing they experience are books, starting building that love of reading and literacy. You'll also notice lots of blank wall space, which will be covered by kid, the kids' work, so that when visitors enter, they're going to be surrounded by my students' work. As you enter the room, you're going to see we have no carpet. Um, they pulled up our carpet this year um, and put down all tile. Much cleaner, much more airy and bright. Not a fan of the red random tiles, but I am happy with the tile. All right, so another thing you might notice is that the small group guided reading table has moved. So it's now positioned here in front of the cubbies. We still have plenty of cubbies for the kids, um, so that's not an issue. The idea behind this was to reduce my footprint in the classroom so that I took up less space and that gave the kids more space so it really becomes more of their classroom. Um, and so you can see the guided reading area. So really, I took everything that was in the corner on these shelves that I'm gonna show you and condensed it into these drawers and a couple of cubbies. Um, and so really reduced my physical footprint in the classroom. What that did was free up all of the shelf space. So this is really gonna be um, useful for centers, journals, um, write the room. So it really freed up a lot of space, gave the kids a lot more space, and again, just giving them more ownership of the classroom. All right. Then of course, we're going to have our whole group instruction area. So with our smart board, um, our rugs alive from Alive Studios, the easel, the trampoline, which is uh, for behavior, you see the stage. So this is where all the whole group learning happens. Um, if we're doing a read aloud, calendar during math time, a math lesson, it all happens right here um, on our Rugs Alive. You also see on the wall the name chart. So that stays up all year. So that's how we get, that's how we have names available for the kids. Um, since we don't have tables or desks and they don't have name tags, we have a name chart. You can see our pointers there. You see our sensory bins right there, which we'll use during centers. All right, next you see community supplies. And so everything the kids need are right here. So when they need something, they come and grab it. It's great for sharing. It's great for giving them more ownership. Um, you can see we have a great view outside. So we get lots of natural light. We have an outside door, which leads to this nice little grassy area, um, which we utilize quite a bit during the year. Um, as we pan on around, um, you can see one of our seating areas with our um, high top chairs and high top table, which the kids love our Instagram board. This is where we put a lot of pictures throughout the year. So if we do like fun hats or something, we'll put them there. Um, you can see our word wall as well as the light box. Below that, you've got the clipboards and you've got laundry baskets, which will be where the bath mats go. Um, they're currently being washed. All right. And then back here, you'll also notice I took the large chair that we had in our whole group area and I moved it back here. The idea behind that is I never really used it during whole group instruction. So now it just becomes an area for the kids to relax and read. If I wanted to do a read aloud back here, I could. If I wanted to do a lesson back here, I can. Um, then you can see our sink and our cabinets full of stuff. You can see our math bins or math baskets. Um, that door would be the restroom. We have this great seating, this bench from National Business Furniture, um, which is phenomenal. It's plastic. The kids love it. Um, then on this door, what we've done this year is we placed our center wheel and the centers, so the, the center groups, um, so that's where that will be. Um, we also have another Rugs Alive from our friends at Alive Studios with our round table. And again, we added a couple of additional rugs. There's our four-sided pocket chart, just again to soften the room, kind of quiet it down since we don't have a carp um, carpeting anymore. This shelf is also new. It's also from National Business Furniture. Um, right now we just have these fun stuffed animals on there, but we'll be using it for other things um, throughout the year. It makes great storage. What I love about the classroom is that it's so, so open because of no tables, no desks. But I also love that the round table, the shelf, and the easel are all on wheels. And so they can very easily be moved out of the way so we can completely open up the room and give us lots of space to do all kinds of great things. Um, the kids' cubbies, of course, where they'll keep all of their things. You'll notice we still have our LED lighting. We've added a couple of additional um, up lighting to help with the atmosphere, the dance parties. 
And again, the whole idea behind this room is that it's very kid-friendly, very open, um, lots of blank wall space, lots of blank bulletin board space to display student work um, because it's their classroom and I really want their work, their learning to be reflected in the room. Um, again, moving the guided reading table has helped me reduce my footprint and give the kids more space in the room and it's going to force me to be much more organized. Um, and again, lots of room and opportunity for all kinds of fun games and lessons and activities. And so really has the new layout, the new design um, has really opened up the possibilities of what we can do in the classroom. All right, and I'll, I'll spin around here and give you a look of a glimpse of what the classroom library looks like from this angle. So there you go, you can see the hallway. The rugs are new this year, we added those again, trying to keep the classroom clean and dampen some of the noise. There you can see our tubs for literacy centers. And again, the whole idea behind this hallway is the kids are greeted by books and visitors are greeted by student artwork and student work. So there you go. So that is a quick tour of the classroom. Um, you can go on our website and search for no tables, no desks, for um, community supplies, all the things you see in the classroom. You can find detailed blog posts at thekindergartensmorgasbord.com. You can also find a detailed blog post um, about our classroom layout this year and kind of walks you through all of it in greater detail about how things work, why they're set up the way they are. Um, and why the classroom runs the way it does. All right, so there you go. So that is a tour of our classroom for the 2019-2020 school year. We're excited to kick off a new year. I'm excited to meet my new mustaches. I'm excited to have a student teacher again this year. I hope everyone has a fantastic school year. I can't wait to share all of the amazing things that go on in our classroom this year.